guys, just another project update. I'm doing this one from the bathroom because it's the middle of the night. It's probably like 1 in the morning, and I'm not getting any good lighting elsewhere, so there's a lot to do. Um, first thing I'm working on, I'm making some Day of the Dead pillowcases, and I found like the perfect fabric for it, so pretty exciting. Um, this is a gift for one of my aunts. She's really into this sort of thing, so this is what I'm working on. It's all pinned up and ready to go. Um, I'm hoping I'll get this done by, like, tonight, maybe, so, I've got that I'm working with. Um, my contest entry number two, I am complete with it. Here it is. It's an Alice in Wonderland-inspired, um, Nintendo DS game case. And it's alright. I mean, it turned out pretty well for, a you know, a first attempt. I've never made roses before. So it was okay. The only thing that I'm disappointed in is this ink. If you, like, rub it really hard, it smears. And that's kind of sad. And I tried doing glaze, but it smeared it more. So I'm going to have to figure out another method with paint. So, you know. Other than that, it turned out perfect. I got everything all set up. Got all the jewels in it. Even in the back. So... That's pretty exciting. I'm glad to have gotten this one done. I'm a little bit proud of it. <laughs> I gotta admit, it turned out pretty awesome. So that was an Alice in Wonderland theme, and I am gonna go on about it in the contest entry, but video thing, but not not right now. So that's all done. I started working on another contest entry, and this one is on a fable called Jorinda and Joringal. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um, it's a birdhouse looks like this. I kind of wanted it to emulate the night sky, so I did this kind of dotting effect on the side. I sculpted all this. The only thing I didn't do is the face. That was a mold. So, And it's not done. I have a whole bunch of feathers that I want to put in here, but I just need to um, finish sculpting them all. So, have this all in the back. And right here, I set up a little area right here so I can put a rose, because I don't think it'll support it otherwise, because those roses are pretty delicate. So I have something set up here, and I have another thing set up here for Pearl, because according to the fable, the only way that Jorinda was ever to um, able to turn back into a human was because Jorindal found the rose with a pearl in the middle of it. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and in the side, it's the last song she sung before she changed into a bird. And you can't see it just looking straight on, but if you tilt it to the light, all the words become visible. And it says, My little bird with the red necklace sings sorrow, sorrow, sorrow. He sings that the dove must soon be dead. And then in the, be in the front of this, it says, He sings sorrow, sorrow, sorrow. So... Pretty interesting. I love that fable. I thought it was really good, so <laughs> why not? I don't think anybody's heard of it, but, well, you know. <laughs> I'll probably link in the down bar so you guys can check it out. Um, yeah, this isn't done yet. I'm hoping I'll also get this done tonight, but we'll see. Um, it's a lot of feathers to sculpt, so I'm not totally sure. <laughs> okay, so this is done. Um, last thing I've been working on is a drawing for all my buddies. And we all play this game together, and these are all of our characters, I'm drawing them out. Um, and the game's about to end. It's going to move into version 3 soon, so, yep. So, almost done, almost done. I, I'm like at the end point of all of my projects, so we'll see how it goes. But yeah, that's just another project update. Pretty short in comparison to my other ones, but it's been kind of tedious work lately, doing all these little jewels and all these little feathers, so... Hopefully I'll have more next time. Alright, bye.